Dartmouth College is an Ivy League institution um, and is typically ranked in the top ten of, of all uh, similar uh, schools. Geisel School of Medicine, formerly called the Dartmouth Medical School, is actually the fourth oldest medical school in the country. So we have a rich tradition. We're blessed by having some really excellent faculty members who provide a wide variety of research opportunities for study, for training of uh, graduate students for the PhD degree, and for postdoctoral fellows. There are a lot of measures of excellence. One quantitative one is funding obtained by the NIH for the research programs, and in that category we do very well. Our Department of Microbiology and Immunology is actually the seventh best funded microbiology and immunology department in the country. The Center of Biomedical Research Excellence in Immunology is now in its 12th year of funding from the NIH. The linchpin of the immunology program is the COBRA Center in Immunology. A second mission of the COBRA grant beyond the recruitment of, of new faculty in immunology is to provide core services that not only assist those faculty members but all the immunology program faculty members at the Geisel and even beyond Dartmouth to laboratories across the country. DART Lab has two pieces. One is to help people with flow cytometry. And the second part of the DART Lab is the Immune Monitoring Lab. It provides immunologic assays and readouts. The focus of our research here is, is melanoma tumor immunology. We have a couple of projects uh, that are looking at um, what we call CD8 T cells or killer T cells. Some people know of them as killer T cells and how they respond to melanomas that are growing. In one project, we are interested in how existing drugs for melanoma work to enhance T cell responses. In the interview process, it was, it was pretty clear early on that this is a very collaborative group and that I was going to have a lot of colleagues with whom I could interact on a day-to-day -day basis and, and they were also nice people overall. The Dart Mouse Lab is a shared resource facility at the Geisel School of Medicine at Dartmouth and its function is to help researchers who have mouse based um, model systems of human disease to uh, bring different kinds of genetically modified mice onto the appropriate background for their studies. And what we're able to do is to speed up back crossing from one background to another. So instead of taking three years, it takes one and a half years. And that can save a lot of time for researchers, a lot of money for researchers, and then most importantly perhaps, they actually know what the genetic background of the mice are that they're working on. COBRA grant really uh, provided the support we needed to go forward and make this happen. And it's not just benefited um, our own institution, it's benefited many others. There's um, a lot of human-specific viruses and uh, one of the challenges in studying these viruses is having a whole animal that can be used to understand the relationship between the virus and the host. So the problem is that these animals uh, are not infectable. We produce genetically modified mice for researchers here and researchers outside here. We do a fair amount of work with academic researchers in other places. Probably the most prominent is developing mice that have humanized uh, either immune system or liver. Um, so the, the goal of using uh, mice as a uh, model system is to as closely as possible uh, enable experimentation that would predict what would happen or what is happening in a human that's obviously much more difficult to experiment with. The primary aim of the, the training program is really to give um, develop new scientists with expertise in immunology. The way that, um, that I learned and many of the senior people, you know, we had a professor with a blackboard, we had a textbook and we had a notebook. Th those days have changed. You know, now with, with social media, with interactive learning environments, um, the possibilities of how we teach and how students learn has changed tremendously. And the way we interact with collaborators all around the world has changed.
We have formal coursework, we have seminars and uh, journal clubs, we have um, uh, interactive team environments, so, so some of the projects we have them work on are, are team-based problems. Our goal is here is that when they complete and, and move on to their next position, they're not only going to be able to do it, they're going to be really good at it. The training that's available here, the, the, the staff in those um, core facilities are, are truly amazing. They're well trained, they really know their craft really well. And the immunology faculty are, are, are very um, good at collaborating and interacting with each other. So that sort of makes students like me feel like I can stop anyone, even in the hallway, and another faculty member and ask a question. Steve firing of the Transgenic Mouse Corps and my project would not have been possible um, without the help of his core. They've really helped me take a theoretical model of having a mouse that has a human liver in it and taking it to the point where now we have that in-house here at Dartmouth. There's a lot of great things going on here in, in immunology and we believe we have a kind of a unique combination of resources, people, being right-sized. You layer it over the fact that we think it's a very livable place. It's a quintessential New England college town. You sort of can have it all here. 